Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Motorsport Manager. We are in Season 3, and uh, we have finished four races. And it ju I just realized, as I was looking at this, that uh, Lau is in second place overall in the driver's standings, which is, I, I don't know, that's crazy, that's awesome. Uh, unfortunately, Chi is pretty far down because uh, she... She did not do so good last race. In fact, she is actually currently injured with some cracked ribs. So we are going to have to let our backup driver probably uh, race in her place because she is not doing well. But overall, Lau. Lau's our boy. That's that's pretty awesome. Um, Car condition. Let's see. 31 hours. It's fine because uh, Chi, I think, had an accident last race. It's been a, been a couple weeks since I actually recorded the last episode, but... If I remember right, that is exactly why she has only one point for the last race, because she, she had an accident, which is no good. Uh, interview. Sure, we will accept this interview. Lau's crash. I don't think Lau had the crash, did he? Maybe I'm mistaken. Okay. Um. You know what? I'll just take the blame for it. That's fine. And then cracked ribs. Yeah, after the crash in that last race. Okay, so that's what I thought. So Chi's the one that got the, the crash. Okay, that's fine. And everything else looks good. So, yeah, that one. What that, what that does mean though is that I can just put all of my points into into Lau's car and just really make sure his car is tip top for the next race because I'm not gonna let you know, my backup driver is not gonna care one way or the other most likely. All right, so we can't really design any new parts at the moment because we barely have enough money to hit the last seven races. In fact, we're technically a little bit under if uh, nothing else changes. So we're just going to have to go as is. We do still have the um, staff center coming up. So we'll see how that works. Other than that, let's just keep going. So car repairs are complete. Uh, let's go make sure that we are uh, working on the right stuff. Um, still, we're actually 50-50 split on reliability and performance at the moment. Um, is that what we want to do? I think that's okay, actually. I mean, technically, any bit of uh, performance or uh, any bit of uh, reliability we get at this point, we can turn into performance by uh, stripping down some of the parts a little bit. So that's fine. Uh, yeah, I think 50-50 until these things max out is going to be okay. In fact, actually, both of these will be finished before the uh, before race, which is actually pretty cool. Sponsors. We do have three sponsors available for this slot. 10th or above, 11th or above, 13th or above. Huh. So that's only four races. It does have a bonus uh, for Japan, which we are not going to be racing in. So that's only worth, effectively... Well, I mean, it's not... I guess it's less about how much it's worth and more about um, how much we can get from it. I actually like this one because it comes with an upfront of 900000 If we get the 200000 on top of that... Okay, fine. This one, um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go for. Take the upfront money for these until I feel a lot more confident in our, our ability position. That does put us back in a good spot with our budget overall, so that is going to be fine. So there you go. Other two divisions races. There's Munich. World Motorsport Championship. Well, maybe we'll be up there someday. All right, so the reliability work's done now. Uh... Go Kanjiro, hated by mechanics. That's no good. Longer races coming in 2019. Uh, so it's going to be a vote to see if we can extend the length of the races. Okay. Ardennes, 22 laps. That's fine. Tire wear. We've got uh, one of the best uh, cars on the grid when it comes to tire wear. All the other drivers are jealous. Okay, fair enough. Reliability work completed. Let's go and see what else we want to do then. So that's all of those. We do need to start working on this this other engine at some point. That's literally everything except the spec parts at this point then. So 
Let's go and get the wings and the uh, rear wings, the front wings and rear wings. Get those upgraded. Let's go ahead and split you half and half. That's going to be fine. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, we definitely need to work on some more parts at some point. Financial management. Are you seriously still concerned about our financial management? Come on now. Look, I got this. Don't worry about me. I got this. 35 lab races. On average. So what are we at currently? I think we're at 25 laps currently, I want to say. Um, would benefit high quality teams, would not benefit low quality teams. So I guess we'll have to go against. And the against works. All right, fair enough. Plus, that'll make the, the YouTube videos just a little bit, a little bit quicker. We've already got pretty long YouTube videos sometimes. We fit in the practice stuff as well. Travel to Ardennes. Performance work complete. Nice. All right, so... I guess we'll go ahead and knock out the brakes as well. And the suspension. And then we can start focusing on just all the new parts after that. That's not too bad at all. 50-50, I think, is going to be perfectly fine. All right, so uh, I guess Shin, just go ahead and stay home. Oh, that actually shaves off a couple days. I will take it. Are you serious? That actually... I thought I said three weeks. Oh, it's literally only three days. Okay, never mind. Okay, whatever. We'll leave you at home for now. So we just have to run Kenny once. Uh, sponsor select. I don't think I'm confident enough to go for fourth or above, so we will take the 13th or above. It's only a couple hundred thousand dollars, but that is something. But we will fit all the good parts on, on Lau's car. So Lau gets that. Lau gets that. Lau, okay, that's fine. Uh, Lau's good there, Lau's good there, and then Lau gets that. You can be angry all you want. <laughs> because we're putting our money in Lau's. It's just because it's Shin. I mean, she's not going to actually be there anyway, so we can ignore her uh, her anger entirely. Yeah, she's not going to care. Good stuff. Ardennes, Belgium. Bit of a windy track here on the back end. I like this track. It's a cool looking track with all the woods and stuff. All right. Yep. Obviously, we're taking you two guys because the other one's unavailable. Car setup. Um, do we happen to have a setup for Ardennes? We do not. So we'll just kind of dial something in. Something like that. It's going to be fine. Uh, tires. I think softs or whatever these are. I guess these are, yeah, softs are going to be fine. And you. Honestly, you're almost right down the middle of everything. Just, just go with that. That's going to be all right. Same here. Softs are going to be good. And I don't think we're going to strip any weight for this. Let's go ahead and go. Take practice. Let's go ahead and send you out. You as well. Come on, Lau. Let's let's see you do something this time around. Putting all of our eggs in one basket, so to speak.
It's doing all right so far. I guess we haven't actually started timing him yet. So that's just the outlap. Gearing is a bit dodgy. Kind of want you to just take a full lap and then I'll bring you in next lap. I'm going to bring you in, bring you in. Mostly I just want to see how loud does overall. Of course, if his car is not completely dialed in, it's not going to help him that much. Let's go ahead and send you out. We're actually great on the downforce. So it's not too bad, but the other two are pretty bad. Um, it's going to give you more speed balance. Let's go ahead and kind of shift that up to that direction. Let's go ahead and pull handling down a little bit. Uh, downforce, we are going to try and dial in a excellent. So let's just shift it a teeny tiny amount. Something like that. Let's try that. Oh, wow. We got two excellence for you. Nice. So yeah, not even going to touch anything about the handling. Did I actually put that all the way up to 100? <laughs> that's probably not quite what I meant to do, but that's all right. Let's try something like that. Go, go, go. Wow, I still got the eighth fastest lap overall. That's not terrible. Nice job with the handling. Handling is much better. Let's actually go ahead and bring you both back in, see if we can get you one more set of changes and then we'll send you both back out for the rest of the practice. I mean, it's nice to see the timings, but it's completely un unnecessary since we don't actually have, um, we don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Okay, so we actually lost on our downforce. We went the wrong direction. So you actually want your downforce to be a little bit more that direction. But we did dial the handling in a little bit better. Let's just give it a little bit of bump. Um, speed balance. Let's do something like that. See if we can get some excellence here. Great, excellent, great, or excellent, great, excellent. So we went from poor to great. So let's drop the handling just a smidge more. See if we can kind of chase that uh, that excellent there as well. Not much of a change. Honestly, we'd be perfectly happy running that as is if necessary. Right, they should both be able to go out for just enough to get us um, a little bit more understanding and that'll be fine. I don't know that we're going to quite make three on our soft tires or race trim though. So get across the finish line before, no, I was going to say, if they get across before time runs out, we might be able to get up to the three, but we're not going to. All right, cool. Excellent, excellent, great, excellent. So nothing changed here for Kenny. Uh, I actually think we got the excellent we were looking for on Lau. Maybe I'm wrong. So I think we can dial in three excellents, or at least two excellents and a great. That's going to be fine. Come on, dudes. Let's finish your practice.
Loving your work. Well, I thank you for loving my work. So we just need 13th or above. I'm pretty sure we can get that. Oh, it's actually going to start raining a little bit. Oh, good stuff, I guess. Not really. Um, <laughs> so you are going to want intermediate probably and just race trim. As for you, definitely going to take the nurse and... I think we'll just do race trim with you. I mean, the intermediate tire is wearing more slowly. Yeah, we're gonna have to come in for fuel at some point anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, change setup. Honestly, these are both fine. I mean, I, I will just go with the one we got currently. Tire choice, obviously intermediates. And we're gonna give you one less lap of fuel, so you come in to fuel sooner than Lau does. All right, so we did get two excellence. That bottom one is just stayed at great, which is fine. We'll just leave it there. 95% is not you know, as good as I would have liked, probably, but it is okay. And you're going to go with the full fuel, I believe. And both of you all just go out hard and heavy. At least initially. Oh, weight stripping. No, oh, I forgot about that. So engine and... Um, the front wing are real, are crucial, so we're gonna leave those at eighty. Uh, or eighty or higher, I should say. Uh, and the other ones go down to about seventy or higher. Sixty nine is close enough. Cause I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. And actually, Lau has um, nurse, so we can drop his even more. I'm just tempted to just drop all of these one more point. It's risky, but with that nurse, I actually think it'll be all right. Pretty significant performance increase. We'll try this. I mean, like I said, it's a bit risky, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, cool. Let's go, guys. Oh, wow. Kenny's all the way at the very back, really? Guess since she has no rank, that's just where they put her. Really? Everybody else... Nobody else started out on intermediates. Wow, was I making a mistake then? I, I'm In that case, I hope the wet, rain kind of keeps coming. I can take advantage of that where these other guys haven't. Wow, this is really packed up here. It's weird being at the very, very back of the pack. Um, everybody else is kind of still pushing a little bit. Let's start turning back a little bit on the engine. We'll keep the tire stuff going for a bit longer. Wow, Lyle, start moving your way up the pack. Come on, Rain. <laughs> we need you. All right. Let's go ahead and tone off the tires just a little bit more. We'll drop down to medium on the on the gas. It's going to be fine, I think. Starting to make our way up the, the chain a little bit. Maybe those tires are helping us out. Oh, the rain is going to start dying off, though. Kenny's up to 12th, Lau's in 13th. I'm actually surprised Kenny's doing that good. Kenny's in 9th, Lau's in 11th. Come on, guys, keep on moving it up. Uh, let's tone down the tires even more. Just kind of settle in a little bit. See if we can settle in for these next, you know, four or five laps or so. Come on, Lau, keep on moving. Keep on moving. How's the water? Water's about to start dying off soon, so we're about to lose our advantage there. But around that same time, we're going to have to pit anyway, so we can just swap in for the better tires. Kenny to fifth, Lau to sixth. All right, come on. Um, out your teammate through, Kenny. No! No, 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 no. 
That is not what I want to see. <laughs> so I tell you to let him through and you hurt your own person? Really? Okay. Well, you're going to pit this time. Lao. We're going to have to see if he can wait one more lap. I just don't know if that's possible. So by the time you pit, it's going to be about time for the brother to stop. So we're going to go ahead and swap you over to... I guess we'll swap you over to super softs. Well, no, we're gonna need a lot of laps left. Uh, in theory, we should be able to go through super softs though. So let's go super softs and then go ahead and get you a cap of fuel, fix that part. And looks like fast could net us something. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe my own person just hurt us like that. All right, now actually go ahead and just go crazy because we got to get you up as much as you can because we're not going to be pitting you this time. I can't believe that. Come on, Lau, keep it going, keep it going. All right, we are going to be pitting you this time, unfortunately. Oh, the wrong person. Uh, cancel. Uh, pit you. <laughs> uh, yeah, coming out on super soft, so it's going to be fine. Let's go ahead and cap out your fuel. All right. Um, whatever, we'll just cap it out. It's going to be all right. Fix that part. Everything else stays the same. And we'll try fast. No, ignore. I cannot believe we had to pit. We were doing good too. We we're taking our advantage of those inners. was really helping out a lot. All right, well, at least it didn't go all the way back down at the bottom. Did you actually pit? I said cancel your pit. Oh, drive through penalty. That's right. Okay, that's what that is. Okay. Never mind. I was like, what was that? What did that mean? All right, Lau. Keep on going. Keep on going. Uh, let's drop off the tires a bit. You as well. You're really burning through those tires fast. Still a little damp, but not too bad. It's actually going to start raining again here in a little bit. All right, it's going back down on neutral then. All right, Lau's up to second place. I mean, he is going to have to pit earlier than everybody else because he had to pit earlier, er you know, before. But maybe he can put some distance between him and everybody else. Enough to uh, to not lose too many spots when he does pit. Kenny's actually up to 11th with the drive through penalty and everything. It's impressive. Not now down to 12th. Again, I have zero expectations for her. I mean, it's just whatever she comes in, just to help us get some points. But it's really all about Lau. Come on, get past that first base person. Come on. There you go. Keep on going. Oh, look at that third place swooping up there. Who is that? That is Valdez. Goodness, he is fast. Well, I tried to hold him off a little bit with some higher engine stuff, but that's all right. All right, tires over here on Kenny are looking a bit rough. But, I mean, that's going to be fine. Let's go ahead and tone down your tires a little bit, kind of conserve. See if we can get at least another lap out of you. All right, you know what? We're going to conserve on Lau as well. Because I'd really like to get a couple more laps out of you.
We're gonna have to pit Kitty this time, probably. Let's just bump you up. Uh, and Lau, I think we have to pitch you next time anyway. I'm just going to overtake. Um, and it's a perfect time to pit for some enters. So yeah, let's go back out on the enters. Fuel options, we're gonna have 10 laps remaining. Oh, we're gonna have to play it very conservative. Oh no, nine, nine laps remaining after pit stop. So we're just barely gonna be able to be okay. Uh, parts look okay. And fast looks like it could make a difference if it's successful. All right, Lau, you're just gonna stay out for this lap. You're actually gonna pit after this though. In fact, let's go ahead and call your pit. You will have nine laps remaining as well. How will you have nine laps remaining as well if you're pitting? That's confusing, but it's all right. Um, enters. We just cap out your fuel. I guess that's going to be okay. We're going to need all of it. All that's good. All that's good. All right, actually, Kenny, you're gonna have to come down. We can't go super crazy with you. Your fuel's gonna be right on the edge. Come on, Lau, it's gonna get a pit. Good pit. Go, go, go. We may actually have to go down to uh, low on, on Kenny with her lower fuel. Come on, Lau, keep it going. It's going neutral. And I think that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and go down low for a bit. Just to play it safe. I mean, if we can keep this gas and let it last as long as we need to, then Lao should do pretty good. In fact, he is going to be in first. There we go. Go Lao. So we're on lap 16, which means we have seven laps left. and We don't have quite enough fuel, so we are going to have to start toning down the fuel a bit. Valdez, man, Valdez is so fast. Right as we cross the line, we're going to have six laps left. So, yeah, we're a little bit light. Come on, keep it going, guys. Yeah, Valdez is just able to push his car farther right now. can go push a little bit on the tires. And actually, you can go up to push on the tires as well. Maybe that'll help a little bit. So, we have five laps left right as we cross the line here. Just under... I think we'll be all right, though. Same for you. Oh, you're, you're still really bad. Off. Way off on your fuel. All right. Four laps left when Loud crossed the line. That's yeah, going to be close. I'm going to go down to low for a bit. See if we can get, get to that happy spot. I actually don't think Kitty's going to have enough fuel. Which, you know, is unfortunate. But I don't know what else we can do. So three laps left for Lau when he crosses the line. Uh, that is almost exactly how much fuel he's got. So I actually think one more lap of this low, we can put it back up to a, a normal medium stuff. Kenny, on the other end, is just going to have to stay low and just do what she can. All right, so I was saying you have your excess fuel, so let's go back up to medium. Go 
So we have exactly two laps left. And just a smidge too much fuel, but not much. I think we're going to be good on this medium for now. Kenny, on the other hand, is going to be low on fuel. But maybe there's enough of a gap between her and Tenth that it won't make too much of a difference. A piece of your front wing is scraping? What? Oh, because your parts are pretty rough. Lau's though, it's solid part. Solid, solid, solid. And here comes Lau for second place. Oh, sorry, one more lap. <laughs> Duh. I was like looking at the fuel wrong. One more lap for both of them. Kenny, barely, barely going to be okay, I think. I really want to make sure I push off, keep off the third place guy. Come on, Lau. Go, go, go. Keep it keep it in second. Good stuff, Lau. I'm proud of you, man. And meanwhile, Kenny might make it across the line. Should be able to make it across the line. Yeah, she's fine. She's good. There we go. Out of fuel. Right across the line. Second and ninth is going to really help our team score. I, I'm impressed with Kenny with the, the way worse car compared to Lau. She, she pulled it off. But yeah, second place for Lau. That is awesome. Valdez, though. Goodness, your car's fast. Another podium finish. This is the second podium finish for Lau this, this season. I'm pretty impressed. Ah, uh, that drive through penalty. But what you going to do? So, ninth place. Fastest lap bonus was Sabato over here. 19 points. So, how did Valdez get above us if we got second place? Oh, because he got the fastest lap and he gets a few more points for that. That's right. That's all right. That's all right. We're still, we're still up there. And our team as a whole, fourth place. That is pretty solid. And honestly, within striking range of third place. So we're well above the sixth place, you know, finish that we uh, we were shooting for. So not, not half bad. I mean, if we hadn't had that crash for ourselves, like us against ourselves, I think we could have put enough distance between us and anybody else. We might have been able to pull off first from this one. But, you know, it's all right. Traits, podium... Plus five morale for two weeks. Nice. Huh? Kenny's a... Uh... Oh, actually, Shin. That's Shin. She actually got some points for being sitting. Really? <laughs> Fair enough. Man, we could have pushed for some of that more money, but who knows? Who would have known that? All right. Good stuff. And there is our save. Well, that was a good race. Very, very good race. Even with the uh, the mishap that we had, still came off really, really well. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. I do appreciate you watching. I hope you join me for our next race as our exciting season continues. Thank you and goodbye.